Hello viewers, I'm Paul White and welcome to Paul's Train Vlogs. Um, this episode in the lead up to the 8th anniversary of Paul's Train Vlogs, um, I'm going to do something different. Of course viewers, I am back in the, in the kitchen once again um, because the cost of living is a hot topic at the present time. And, infl and high inflation as well, and especially here in Australia, where we got a government who has its priorities all muddled up. Um, anyway, viewers, if you haven't yet subscribed to Paul's Train Vlogs, please hit the subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner of the screen, and also don't forget to please ring the notification bell icon to receive notifications about my current and future releases and thank you for watching Paul's Train Vlogs. Anyway viewers, in this episode I am cooking a a snack called a double cheeseburger. I'd like to show you the ingredients that I'll be using for a double cheeseburger on that will cost less than five dollars a serve. So let's have a look at the ingredients what I have here. So anyway, viewers, um, these are the ingredients I'll be using for my double cheeseburger. Of course, viewers, our most important ingredient to make a, a hamburger or a cheeseburger is these brioche buns. And the best thing about they they're already... So it became pre-sliced. Of course, I've already prepped some onion early on and the dill cucumbers as well. I've already prepped that earlier on. Um, of course, you need two slices of cheese, which melt easy on the on the hamburger patty, which I'll be using 250 grams of beef mint. That means I imagine do I'm gonna do Greg's kitchen trick for this video. Of course it of course it came with a five star can star rating. It came with a well we have a rating system here in Australia which is called a can star and it, and this is a Jindura station quality 100% Australian beef mince, which came with a five star can star rating for the most satisfied beef for the supermarket range. And of course, some tomato sauce and some American mustard. And the salt and pepper is just for seasoning the when I turn the beef mince into the beef patties. So anyway, first, let's start cooking. Anyway, viewers, um, the pan is currently warming up. Let's see if it's warm, warm enough. I won't put my hand in there like um, Greg from Greg's Kitchen end up doing. Just put it a safe one top. It's almost ready, so can use that time to um, toast the brioche bun on one side. While that's toasting, I'm going to need 250 grams of beef mince. Like that. I've already like that. Just like that. With one patty. Yeah. 
And there's the second. How do you want to do it? Brutal. Two, 125 grams. Oh, I just rolled beef meat, they'll turn into beef patties. Just check the... The brioche bun is nice and toasted. So what I'm doing now, let's cook the meat patty. Get it as flat as a pancake. Okay, that's cooking away. What I'm going to do now is salt and pepper. Look it up. Nice cooking. So that's so I'm gonna come back and turn these over very shortly. Anyway guys, let's see how these patties are doing and let's go. Ooh. Get a bit of salt and pepper. Have a look at the texture on the beef patty. Make sure to cook it all out. Henry Furious, um, my hamburger patties are now cooking perfectly fine. Now it's time to put the cheese on.
Anyway guys, that's just about done. I'm going to have to turn it down. Here do I fuse. Time to start prepping. One patty at the bottom here. Like that. There. Now you can grab your onion. And your dill cucumbers here. Tomato sauce or ketchup. Squeeze a bit of the tomato sauce on there. Mustard. Down the top. There you have it. A lovely double cheeseburger. Anyway, viewers. Bon appétit. Anyway, viewers. Bon appétit. That is delicious. That is delicious. However, Maccas here in Australia, um, depends on where you live, um, at my neck of the woods, um, they sell the double cheeseburger for like $6.30. And, and my local Hungry Jacks, they have it for $6.10. However, my double cheeseburger and it cost me $4.10. How cheap is that? And the ingredients, I purchased it from Audi. So I recommend Audi. Don't worry about Coles or Woolies. Hey guys. They're profiteering, you know what. Um, on that note, viewers. To wrap up the episode, um, thank you for watching Paul's Train Vlogs. Don't forget to give the video the thumbs up, subscribe to, to Paul's Train Vlogs, and also don't forget to please ring the notification bell icon to receive notifications about my current and future releases. Thank you for watching Paul's Train Vlogs. I'm going to finish off eating my double cheeseburger and then we'll make another one. And I will see you for Paul's Train Vlogs 8th anniversary episode. Until we meet again, it's goodbye for now.